The Edward VIII sovereign marks a new milestone for British coinage because it's reached the £1 million mark, which is the first time a British coin has actually achieved that. And that is testament really to the rarity and the quality of this coin. It's extremely rare. It was never made for into circulation. It was never intended to get into private hands. There's only six known examples in the entire world, two of which are only available in free circulation, the other four are in museums. So this sovereign is effectively the only one that you could actually buy if you ever wanted to own it. The coinage of Edward VIII is special because it is the coinage that never was, certainly how it was referred to at the time. The time that Edward VIII was on the throne between January to December was just about the right sort of time for us to get new reverse designs done and new obverse designs done. We were just about ready to get going into mass production when he abdicates in December 1936. And it was one of the great numismatic mysteries of the 20th century for many decades what actually happened with the coinage of Edward VIII because this material was hidden out of the way until 1970 when it finally sees the light of day and that mystery as to what the mint did with the coinage of Edward VIII is revealed. We do have a coin finder service here at the Royal Mint. Customers who uh, have a rare coin that they're looking for or even just got a gap in their collection they want to fill can get in touch with us and we use our expertise and our specialist knowledge as well as our connections in the marketplace and we'll go out and source rare coins for our customers. The Edward VIII coin was sourced specifically for a customer and it's quite a big request for us to be asked to find one of the rarest coins in the world but we're pleased to say we managed to do it. We're incredibly proud about this acquisition of this coin and uh, achieving the million pound price tag for such a rare, wonderful coin. It's a fantastic piece of British history. You know, the coin originated at, at the Royal Mint and here it is back at the Royal Mint again, achieving a record price and making history once again. We hope that stories like this encourage people to look around or ask around their family members to see what kind of coins they've got within their family. So if you have a coin that you're not quite sure what it is or what it's worth, then you can always visit the Royal Mint website and find out a little bit more about it. <laughs>